a dancer, not a cat burglar. Gavin, listen to me. You just don't know what might happen. Please, don't take the chance, Gavin. Don't take the chance. Gavin, um, I'm worried. You're taking an awful big chance. Now, look here, Hamilton, I am dead. King Duval, immediately. Now, I've already had to cancel performances because of her. Yeah. Right, well, I know. I know that Cynthia Gregory is busy, and I know that Pavlova is dead, but you're supposed to be the best agent in the business. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to get every other dancer in New York, and I want to look at him tomorrow. Look, if she can still breathe and she's under 50, I still may hire her. Tomorrow, Hamilton. So your star performer has turned out to be a rank amateur. How unprofessional for Martine. Yeah. If I had my hands on her, I'd... Well, never mind about that. i just got to find a replacement. Tomorrow. Or I could turn the Whitney Theater into a parking garage. Look, I've got to go to New York tonight. You're not going alone. You're going to take your little wifey with no, you. Look, I can't take you with me because it takes you three and a half weeks to pack one suitcase. I know exactly what you're going to be doing tomorrow. You're going to be looking at beautiful women all day, and you are not going alone. I am going with you, and that, my dear husband, is that. one more time, and then I gotta go. You know how important it is to get a close look at Sky's wife. Gavin, I'm no! to kill tonight. Please, don't interrupt. You got the answer yourself from Miles. He confirmed that the last words out of Gunther's mouth were about the watch. He must have known that Sky had taken it from him. Now, if I can get the watch, and you can see if it's the same watch that you saw that night, all right. then... All right. I don't know why we're going over this again. It's pretty obvious you're determined to go through with this, so why are we arguing? Boy, you said I was the most stubborn kid on the block. Well, uh, leave it to second. Okay, let's go. Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. 
I know where I'm going. But well, where do you think you're going? I don't think I know. I'm going with you. Going with me. Right. And just what are you going to do when you get to Sky's house? You can stand outside and cheer? It's very funny. Look, we're wasting time, okay? I've made myself clear. I'm going with you no matter where you go. Oh, boy. This is great. Just great. It's going to be difficult enough for me to get in there alone, let alone getting you in there, too. Well, we'll figure that out when I get there, okay? Kevin, did it ever occur to you that I might be able to help you? Help me? You're just going to be... Hold it. I got a flash of an idea. You know, you may be right. It may be the best thing to do. The two of us. I must be out of my mind. What in the world made me think that I could handle this place by myself? Why? Well, look at these expenses. I mean, I knew the rent was high, but look at this electric bill. Yeah. It's astronomical. And all these hidden little costs, like, uh, occupancy taxes, yeah. equipment, maintenance, mm -hmm. film, ay, ay, ay. Well, maybe you just have to, uh, start charging higher prices. And tell me, sir, what are magazines like Bazaar gonna say when I, I say, well, we lost our top model and assignments will now be handled by Carlo Crown's assistant and not the great master himself? Well, my dear lady, I make a correction. The assignments will now be handled by the beautiful and lovely former assistant. Thank you, but the quibbling. Uh, uh, uh. I never quibble with the boss. It's a good thing. But may I kiss her? Well, I don't know. You better do it quickly. She may change her mind and become an assistant. What's your hurry? Uh. <laughs> um, yeah, you could have stopped and tied your shoelace or maybe uh, helped an old lady across the street. <laughs> I'm sorry. The interruption is unintentional. How are you doing, Valerie? I'm fine, Calvin. What brings you here? Well, I just heard that uh, Carlo Crown decided to leave town all of a sudden and take Martin Duval with him. I mean, since they decided to waltz off into the sunset, I thought you might be able to shed a little light on the uh, sudden move. It was just as much of a surprise to me. I have no idea why they left. I just know they are gone. Hmm. Well, are the police interested? Oh, um, no, no, not, um... Not officially. I mean, there was one officer, my, my partner, Damien Tyler. That's a dark room. <laughs> Sorry, you are. Uh, you know, cops always looking for clues. <laughs> but uh, he's not interested anymore either. And why not? Well, that's exactly what I'm curious about. Well, I can tell you that they were very much in love. And they just decided to leave together. That's all I know. <laughs> Okay. Well, I guess it's a logical development. I mean, they did spend a lot of time here at the studio together. And they were very close. Uh, still odd, though, for them to just up and leave all of this. I mean, just... Oh, by the way, all of this is now referred to as the Bryson Street. Well, well, well. Congratulations and good luck. Thank you. I'm going to need it. i just been going over the account books. Well, we need more than good luck. We're going to need a, uh, a few more customers. Oh, that reminds me. Um... Feel free to tell all of your friends that the studio is under new management. Oh, I certainly will, but uh, actually, my customers use a photographer more often than my friends. If you care to extend your portfolio to mug shots, I'll consider. <laughs> uh, I don't think so, Calvin, but ask me again next month. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, um, how would you like to go to dinner with me and Val? Oh, good idea. Join us. <laughs> well, thanks for asking. Uh, actually, I don't have any plans, but, uh... Only if I don't have to be a fifth wheel. I'll go if I can get a date. You want to use the phone? Yeah. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Well, I hope she's home, huh? Yeah. Hello? Hi, Diddy. It's, uh, Calvin. Hi, Calvin. I'm, I'm glad you called. I was thinking about you. Oh, really? Well, that's nice to hear. Yes, I hope you weren't too upset about our little encounter at the criminal court. Oh, no, no, nothing of the kind. Think nothing of it. As a matter of fact, your, uh, your friend Julius might have a good idea about you going into corporate law. I mean, you could save a lot of compassion on clients for whom you're doing million-dollar contracts. Calvin, I have no intentions of going into corporate law. Uh, I see. Well, um, perhaps we should discuss this over, uh, dinner? Calvin, I'm sorry. I, um, I can't. I already have a dinner date. As a matter of fact, uh, he's at my door right now. Yes, I'm sure Mr. Newcomb is, uh, waiting anxiously, no doubt. No doubt. 
Kelvin, will you call me tomorrow? Sure, tomorrow. Okay. Bye. Well? Soon, this place will be jumping. USA. imagination. You were expecting me, weren't you? Yes, Julius, of course I was expecting you. I I was just trying to figure out how to explain to you about the couple that's joining us tonight. Took Nelson and his date, so what's to explain? Well, try not to look too shocked if they don't speak to each other. <laughs> You're kidding. <laughs> how do they communicate? Sign language? No, they just aren't talking to each other. <laughs> now, how can two people go out on a date, spend the whole evening together and not talk? Well, it's like this. See, Cliff and Mitzi had a disagreement. Now, Mitzi only agreed to go out with Cliff under the one condition that he not speak to her. And Cliff wants to go out with Mitzi, so he agreed, and Mitzi wants to go to the theater, so she agreed. Who is this clown, anyway? My landlord. You see, I rent an office space from Cliff. Now, he's a very nice man, and I've grown very fond of him. But he can be... a little exasperating at times. However, he is a very shrewd criminal lawyer. <laughs> I have to take your word for that. <laughs> well, anyway, just sort of play along for tonight, okay? Sure, why not? Hi. Uh, come on in. Missy? Cliff? Hi. Uh, it is, it's uh, Missy Martin, right? Yes. Missy, this is Julius Newcomb. How do you do, I'm How do you sure. Do, Miss Martin? And, Julius, you and Cliff have met over the telephone. Yes, I'm glad it's in person this time, Cliff. <laughs> yes, so am I. <laughs> Well, why don't we all sit down? And have a drink. Fine. Fine. I'll attend bar. What do you have? Uh, whatever you're having. Missy, whatever he's having. <laughs> well, it looks like we're all having white wine. Oh, uh, well, how are things? Quiet. Sometimes that can be a relief. I'll say. Well, here we are. White wine. White wine. White wine and white wine. Well, it gives us all something in common, doesn't it? <clears throat> My, you two certainly do move well together. <laughs> um, gee, I certainly am looking forward to seeing the play tonight, aren't you? Uh, Dee Dee, would you ask Cliff what time the curtain is tonight? Cliff Missy wants to know what time the curtain goes up. Uh, Dee Dee, tell Missy the curtain goes up at 8. I had to be Glass Menagerie. Uh-huh. Missy, Cliff says it's the Glass Menagerie. She already knew that. I knew that. Oh. I, uh, once auditioned for that play. Mm. Mm -hmm. In Chicago. I didn't get it. Oh. Too bad you'd have made a great Laura. I was too short. Why does Laura have to be tall? Would you tell Cliff that they only had one size dress in the costume department, and it was a size 12? Cliff, Missy says there was you only one heard dress... Dee Dee. I already heard it, Dee Dee. Cliff, it's Missy you're not talking to, not Julius. That's right, Cliff. Remember, you're still talking to me. Oh, yes, of course. Sorry, of course. Well, uh, Julius, uh, any uh, good murderers lately? <laughs> I'm in corporate law. So, Missy, you are an aspiring actress. Uh, she's waiting on tables now. I'm waiting on tables right now. Oh. Already said that. Of course, it's uh, just temporary, right? Uh, Missy, Julia said that it's already temporary, right? Excuse me, I'm getting confused. Well, Cliff, uh, looks like both of our ladies are, are career women. I've been talking to Dee Dee about the possibility of her changing from uh, criminal law to corporate. Uh, personally, I think she's a little too soft-hearted for criminal uh, practice. Uh, what do you think? Well, Dee Dee, tell Julius that uh, you should stay where you are. You're doing just fine. For heaven's sake, Cliff, I'm the one you're not talking to, remember? Dee Dee, will you please tell these people this has gone far enough? Cliff, Julius says this has really gone far enough. Missy, I'm... Dee Dee says that Julius says this has gone now too look, far. Now look, Cliff, don't take it out on Missy. This is Don't get mad at me, Dee Dee. Okay. I'll talk. Oh, goodness. Jet ready to go. Good. All right, listen, I want you to park as close to Hangar 11 as you can, and I'll see you uh, in about an hour. 
Okay, so long. All set. Well, how did you get packed so soon? Well, thank Geraldine. She's great at it. Well, maybe she could give you lessons, huh? <laughs> My dear girl, it is simply a matter of making up your mind. There's something I can never do. This is all rather sudden, isn't it, this trip to New York? Yeah, sudden it is, thanks to Martine Duval. I've got to find a replacement T tomorrow. I'm desperate. You're not worried about staying here by yourself, are you? Uh, oh, you, you don't really have to be. I know that the alarm isn't quite fixed yet, but uh, we'll have Chrissy here, and the new man, Spencer, will be here, too. No, no, my dears. I'm not at all concerned. After all, lightning can't strike three times. No, no, no. This time, whatever happens, I'm going to sleep right through it. You almost did that the last time. Well, maybe we should tell her. Uh, that man in there, that man you hired, I, I think he's a gangster. Chrissy, why do you say that? He's carrying a gun. A gun? Yes, Mrs. Saxon. I saw it myself. I'm very sorry. I didn't mean to frighten Chrissy, Mr. Whitney, but I took my jacket off a moment ago in the kitchen without thinking, and she saw the gun. Enough to scare the life out of a person. Skyler, for heaven's sake, what is going on here? Why is, is Spencer carrying a gun? Okay, please calm down just a bit. The gun is perfectly legal. Spencer has got a license to carry it. He's here to protect us, this family, in this house, at my insistence. Do you think it's absolutely necessary to turn this house into an arsenal? I know that it was broken into twice, but an armed guard? It is unfortunate, Geraldine, but it is a cruel world. And if you've got something of value, lives and property to protect, you've got to be willing to protect them. I am. change your mind. No, okay? I said I'd help you and I will. Damn. All the lights are on in the house. They could stay up half the night in there while we're out here freezing to death. Well, does that mean you've changed your mind and we can get out of here? No. I'm waiting for the right opportunity to make my move. All right, where are you going to the hotel in New York? Don't worry. no reason for you to be so nervous. You're too young for that. And I'm too old. Now, Spencer is simply driving Mr. and Mrs. Whitney to the airport. He will be back very soon. I dare say that you and I will be able to survive the next hour here alone. Yes, ma'am. Mrs. Saxon. Now, pull yourself together, child. You're perfectly safe. Good night. Good night, ma'am. dancer with Mr. Whitney's dance company. Oh, I thought your face looked familiar. Yes, that's right. Well, the reason I'm here is the other night, I'm, I'm quite sure I left a small change purse. Could I trouble you to look for it? I don't remember any purse. Oh, it, it was very, very small. I mean, it could have fallen behind the, the cushion of the couch. Look, it wouldn't mean too much to me, except that I've left a very valuable ring in it that my boyfriend's given me. And, well, you know how it is. Oh, sure. Well, wait here. I'll look for it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, is this what you were saying? Yeah, that's right. Perfect. I'm sorry, miss. I, I can't find anything. Huh? Oh, dear me, I guess I left it somewhere else. You know how it is, always forgetting things, losing things. <laughs> Thank you so much for your trouble. Good night. Night, miss. Gives me the creeps. I wish my mother was here. She'd tell me to get something to eat to calm my nerves. That's what she'd do. Mm -hmm. 